Active Driver Assist combines stop-and-go adaptive cruise control with lane centering assist. When these two features are on, the system uses information from the camera on the windscreen and the radar sensor in the front bumper to steer the vehicle and keep it centered in the lane. Maintaining a cruise speed and a following distance from the vehicle in front. If the vehicle in front stops, the system can brake your vehicle to a complete stop and move off afterwards. Active Driver Assist can also adjust the vehicle's speed to the speed shown on the traffic signs, either automatically or after confirmation by the driver. To start Active Driver Assist, first press this switch to turn on the Stop and Go Adaptive Cruise Control. This indicator light appears on the instrument panel along with the message Adaptive Cruise Control on. Next, use this switch to select your cruise speed. You can use the stop and go adaptive cruise control between 0 and 92.2 miles per hour or 0 and 160 kilometers per hour. When it is on, a following distance is always set by default. You can adjust this distance by repeatedly pressing this switch. Lastly, you can combine stop and go adaptive cruise control with traffic sign detection. You'll find this setting in the Vehicle section of the Open R-Link Multimedia System. Select Driving Assistance. Then open the Traffic Sign Regulation menu. With Stop and Go Adaptive Cruise Control on, you should make sure that Active Driver Assist is fully functional by switching on Lane Centering Assist to keep the vehicle in its traffic lane. To turn Lane Centering Assist on, you first need to set it up on the Open R-Link Center screen. Go to the Vehicle section and select driving assistance then open the lane keeping system menu select lane centering assist press this button to switch the feature on the message lane keeping system activated appears on the instrument panel along with this indicator light to confirm that the feature is running the indicator light and the line indicators appear in green when lane centering assist is on and keeping the vehicle centered in the lane. You can take control at any time by using the steering wheel. Once you stop using the steering wheel, lane centering restarts. The lines and indicator light will turn grey if conditions aren't suitable for lane centering assist. The system automatically pauses when you're traveling at less than 37.2 miles per hour or 60 kilometers per hour with no vehicle following or when your vehicle touches or crosses a line or when no lines are detected in your lane. When the right conditions are present, the feature again centers your vehicle in the lane and the instrument panel display reverts to green. If you come to a sharp bend and depending on your speed, the feature will be less able to control sideways drift and you might need to use the steering wheel to help keep the vehicle centered in the lane. If you don't intervene, the feature causes the steering wheel to vibrate to warn you that the vehicle is about to cross a line and that you need to take immediate action. 
the indicator light and the relevant line indicator left or right will then both turn red on the instrument panel. If the vehicle crosses a line completely and moves out of its lane, lane centering assist is automatically paused and the display turns grey on the instrument panel. When using lane centering, you must still have your hands on the steering wheel as this symbol shows. The system warns you if it cannot detect your hands on the steering wheel. After 15 seconds, the message, keep hands on steering wheel, appears in yellow on the instrument panel. After 30 seconds, the indicator light and message appear in red on the instrument panel, accompanied by an audible signal which gets progressively louder. After 45 seconds, all audio sources are put on standby and the audible warning is continuous. The indicator light goes out and the message Lane Keeping System Deactivated appears in red on the instrument panel. Lane Centering Assist is then switched off. Please note that in this case the Stop and Go Adaptive Cruise Control continues to operate. During the first two alarm levels, if the system detects the driver's hands on the steering wheel again, the alarms stop and the feature continues to center the vehicle in the lane. If you don't put your hands back on the wheel within 45 seconds, the indicator light flashes on the instrument panel and an audible warning will sound. The brakes are then applied briefly and successively to warn you that you need to put your hands back on the wheel and take control of the vehicle. If you don't respond, Active Driver Assist turns on the hazard warning lights and slows the vehicle to a complete stop. You can cancel this maneuver and the Active Driver Assist at any time by putting your hands back on the steering wheel or by braking. If you come up behind a slower vehicle in the same lane and Active Driver Assist is on, your speed will adjust to match theirs and maintain your set following distance. If the vehicle in front slows down and stops for up to 30 seconds before moving off again, your vehicle will do the same without you having to touch the pedals. If the system detects an obstacle in the surroundings, automatic restarting will be prevented until the next shutdown. If the vehicle restarts after 30 seconds, simply touch the accelerator or press this button up to move off. The message Press Res or the Accelerator to Restart Cruise Control is displayed on the instrument panel to confirm this. If a stop is longer than three minutes, Active Driver Assist will be switched off and the electronic parking brake applied. You will then have to restart the function. Bear in mind though that Active Driver Assist has limited braking power and can't apply emergency braking. Also, you can exceed the cruise speed and overtake at any time just by pressing the accelerator pedal. Lane centering pauses if you use the indicators. While you're overtaking, the cruise speed will appears in yellow on the instrument panel. If the distance from the vehicle in front is less than you have selected, the distance control function is no longer provided and the programmed following distance bar flashes on the instrument panel. When you've finished overtaking, gently release the accelerator pedal to restart Active Driver Assist. Press the same switch to turn lane centering off and the message Lane Keeping System Deactivated will appear on the instrument panel. This doesn't affect the Stop and Go Adaptive Cruise Control. Lastly, press this switch to turn off Active Driver Assist. Stop and Go Adaptive Cruise Control and Lane Centering Assist are switched off simultaneously. To ensure the system functions correctly, make sure that the camera and radar are not obstructed, for example by dirt, mud or snow. 
The function may be temporarily disrupted when the visibility of the road is poor or if it includes hairpin bends. You must also switch off active driver assist if you're towing a trailer. Please note that the camera and radar only detect vehicles traveling in the same direction as you. Finally, bear in mind that this feature is an additional driving aid that must not replace your vigilance as a driver. You should mainly use it on motorways, on free-flowing journeys or in traffic jams. Generally speaking, always adapt your speed to the traffic conditions, irrespective of the system's indications.